2024 Division Three National Championship first place, Pomona Pitzer and CMS, an all-Skyac showdown. CMS blocks out a Pomona Pitzer attempt, but the rebound lands with Madison Lewis. She scores first for the Sage Hens. Moving along, the Mias are on the attack. Mia Adson rockets one in for CMS, then Mia Amberger ties things up at two for Pomona Pitzer. Zosiah Amberger swats down this CMS attempt, and the Sage Hens enter the second down 3-2. Amberger opens this quarter with another smooth block for Pomona Pitzer. Then after goals on each side, Numlin Juchan goes back to back for the Sage Hens, giving them the 5-4 edge. Amberger is good for another stop here, and then we skip ahead. Claremont Mud Scripps has a 5-meter opportunity, but Amberger is there for the swift block in cage. After a slew of Pomona Pitzer goals, Wraith floats this ball in for CMS, and they end the half down 10-4. Abigail Wiesenthal earns Pomona Pitzer's 11th goal here, then Amberger denies another CMS attempt on the other end. A penalty is called on Pomona Pitzer, and CMS turns to Grace Clark. She steps up and buries it with 1.59 to go in the third. Right around the one-minute mark, Lisbon Ziegler finds herself one on goalie. There's no stop and missed shot. She gives the Sage Hens the 13-5 edge. Mia Amberger reaches up and steals the ball for Pomona Pitzer, then sends the ball over to Kaylee Stegard, who's able to hit for another for the squad in the dark caps. Isabel Del Vilar rockets this shot in for CMS. On the other end, Natalie Stearns gets a stop for the Athenas. CMS sends the ball back over to Del Vilar, who makes her way through choppy waters to get CMS's seventh. Then the eighth comes from Clark as she buries another five meter. The Athenas now down 14 to eight. Peyton Richardson adds another goal for Pomona Pitzer, then Clark gets her fourth in the day for CMS, but the Sage Hens are all smiles as they take the win 15 to 10. After a thrilling pool celebration, acting head coach Alex Law, along with Wiesenthal, Lewis, and Juchan share their thoughts on ending the season with a win and what the seniors appreciated during their time with the Sage Hens. You know, I think, uh, I think everybody kind of set the played with the game plan and they trusted each other, defense first, and uh, played really well. It's just so special to be part of a team that cares so much about each player on the team. And I think just to echo what Law said, like we played as a team. Water polo is a sport where one person can't carry the team. Each moving piece has to be in the right place in order for like the team to work. If one person's drawing players, opens up another to shoot, vice versa. It really takes a village and I think we have one. So it's really exciting. Before the game, we talked a lot about defense and Law does a lot of work and the whole coaching staff does a lot of work to make sure that we're really prepared for every game we go into. Obviously this one, extra prepared. Um, but before this game, we were really talking about focusing on defense and trusting our offense to come. And I think we did a really good job with that game plan, like Abby said, trusting each other um, and really just kind of waiting for the pace of the game to settle and waiting for ourselves to start hitting those goals and uh, making sure we were covering things in the backcourt and being selfless first. My favorite memory has kind of been a consistent one, like our practices, our afternoon yeah. practices. When we hop in, we really say that like it feels like a pool party, yeah. <laughs> hanging out with my friends, playing a sport that I love. So I love it.